Okay, here we are, turn four. Uh, we're doing post moves here. Uh, a couple of things to highlight, and then we will move on to a battle report. Um, this army that was in Fangorn moved out again to lock up these two armies. The goblins took the initiative and moved in on the elves here, and they moved in on the elves here. We are going to film a battle report this battle here. These two armies we have not filmed, so you get to see those. Uh, we've got Amir and Saruman tangling again out here outside Helm's Deep. And over here, just a lot of posturing. Boromir took the initiative and he moved his army to Osgiliath. The dwarves arrived here. Uh, these dwarves decided to hold once Mordor moved through Sirithungul and fortified their forces here. Um, and the Fallen Realms have moved up again. So next turn we'll have a lot of action down here in the south, but right near, it's all over here to the west and the north. So we are going to focus in on Goblins Elves. Okay, so this is the uh, fight between the Elves and whoever else is on the other side of the table. The go oh, like Goblins. And um, there's Elrond, He's got a band of swordmen, one high elf swordman, and shield, three gladrials, four gladrial archers, and four gladrial spearmen. The second captain is the king of the dead, and he has four dead warriors and two gladrial archers. Our field, I have a major train for my side. We have some um, neutral train with these hills and a little bit of uh, ruins here. And on the other side, the goblins have a minor terrain, which is that small corner of ruins, which kind of suits them. Little guys, little terrain, they can hide in that. And over there are the goblins, and I will let the uh, evil doer over there describe what he has on the field. All right, so over here we have some goblin warriors with shields, uh, some spearmen back here also have shields. Also. Uh, Goblin, goblin, uh, goblin king, goblin captain. Uh, this is uh, named Nazgul. It's the knight of the Umbar, and we have oh, some geez. orc no. trackers, some place. orcs with spear and shields, and this is what is that Angmar orc shaman on a orc, and. Uh, yeah, so I outnumber about three to one, so it should be pretty quick. For the evil player to leave the field with his less than stellar goblin band. Um, so at the end of turn one, which I have one priority for, we will come back at the beginning of turn two and I'll show you what has transpired. Thanks! Okay, end of turn six, three. Six, yeah. Goblins have advanced to here. Orcs are shooting from behind the cover of the uh, ruins. Elves are up here. One elven archer was miraculously by some freak of nature was hit. Five, three five, fives in a row. <laughs> and one elf has finally become the first victim of the the battle. And that is it. Uh, we'll see you at the end of turn three. What the heck happened to... Well, I got a spearman over here. Alright. The elves just here. <laughs> what turn is this, guys? Talk to me, Hudson. Four. Turn four? No way. It has to be longer than that. Yeah, I think it is like turn five or six, maybe. Or more. Comments, Brandon? Looks good to me. Troy, comments? No. None? Ooh. None this time. I see. I thought that going around the, the back side was going to be the right move, but I probably should have went with some of them. <laughs> we got a complete surround. Now we just wait for four weeks and the elves run out of rations.
Okay, so we finally come back to this battle. Um, it's been a month. We had to pause it last time, but uh, basically this last turn, uh, the goblins got charged up here on the ramp, but they did get one casualty, so the elves are now broken. Uh, like I th think the goblins four or five models away from breaking. We've got a line of archers over here. Um, you've got Nazgul with a couple of orc shields. There's your shaman. Your goblin captain. Up here we've got Elrond and a couple of dead guys going up against the goblin king with his uh, goblins and down here we have some archers ready to shoot and the king of the dead awaiting the flank. We'll move on to the next turn. I believe this is probably round seven. Okay so this is the end of I believe turn nine. We actually have some some losses. The there are two orc scouts died here. One died here from the bowmen. Um, there were some fights here, but nobody died. Um, the army of good has already broken, but they've made all their courage checks to stay in the battle. And the goblin army here has two more, and then they have to start rolling their courage checks to stay in the battle. And uh, King of the Dead and the um, Nazgul, the, the Umber, Knight of Umber, fought, and um, King of the Dead took one, one wound. Okay, so at the end of turn 21, Got there. this is what is left of the Goblin That's Army. Right there. Look who's missing. This oh, is what him. is with died. With oh. one die. <laughs> and this is what's left of the elf army. And one has died of the elf army. And he took out the um, king of the dead with a black dart. Which is BS. <laughs>